The path toward getting a good education is typically the same for a lot of us. After elementary, middle, and high school, we head off to college. But most people aren't hitting the books as a college sophomore before they reach their teen years. That's what makes Caleb Anderson so unique. This 12-year-old student started taking dual enrollment classes through King's Academy. Now he's getting into his second year at Chattahoochee Technical College. He's been taking classes online during the pandemic. I wanted to be an astronaut since I was like one, and I felt like aerospace, aerospace engineering would be the best path for me. Caleb Anderson already has big plans for his very bright future. The exceptionally intelligent preteen joined the high IQ society known as Mensa at age five. He hopes someday to intern for Elon Musk, who helped found major brands like Tesla and The Boring Company. Parents Kobe and Claire Anderson say they first saw a glimpse of Caleb's special gift at just four weeks old. Claire says her son would mimic the sounds of the words she would say. She decided to get certified in sign language to help Caleb communicate. And he picked that up really quickly. By nine months old, he was already signing 250 words and by six months old, he was already reading. By 15 months old, Caleb's mom says he could name all the countries on the world map. His parents soon realized Caleb's thirst for knowledge was far beyond his years. What does this say? Toes. Toes, good job. I think he was about three years old and, and he asked this question about heaven and hell and stuff, you know what I mean? It's like, Okay, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't think I was gonna have this conversation with the three-year-old. Caleb's family wanted to give him the space and tools he needed to grow. His mom even started her own school, the Atlanta Gifted Academy, for gifted learners like Caleb. I wanted a school that focused on critical thinking, not just, um, you know, just memorizing information, but just science, STEM, math, language. Caleb learned there for five years until he was in the sixth grade. Caleb says his curiosity about the world wasn't always welcomed from his other teachers. Whenever I ask questions, most, oh, um, a lot of teachers from before my um, college days is, were confused and they were angry at me, it seems like. And I honestly don't know why. It doesn't make any sense to me. And while Caleb has been able to make friends, socializing with other kids his age hasn't always been easy. They didn't see me as one of them. They didn't see me as normal. Kobe recalls an interaction Caleb had when he was three. He's talking to his best friend and he was like, well, what, what is it that my best friend doesn't like about me? because he's not answering my questions. Mm. And I was like, well, that's not that. It's just that he doesn't have the same vocabulary that you have. And so, mm. you know, he's not responding as quickly as you would like him to respond. The family says some people have been skeptical of a young black child's gifts. Mensa told the family he was the youngest black boy to be accepted at that time. Still, the Andersons felt they had to prove their son's knowledge to the skeptics with test results that documented his talents. There were some schools that Caleb went to at two or three where they almost um, did not necessarily believe his ability. Um, you know, is he memorizing it? Is it, is it that I'm doing flashcards? But they didn't accept the fact that, okay, this is a young child who's exhibiting these incredible intellect. These experiences have not gotten in the way of Caleb's tremendous progress. At Chattahoochee Technical, the bright 12-year-old is taking on calculus, history, and macroeconomics. Kobe and Claire offer some words of advice to other families of gifted children. I will tell, especially moms, that you are enough. You know, um, both my husband and I, we are not rocket scientists. But what I can teach my son is um, about character, about the importance of being kind, the importance of, of, of integrity, being a man of your word. My attitude is I'm molding somebody's father one day, somebody's husband one day. You know, academia is not everything. Um, I'm thinking of the long run of what kind of man am I um, going to give back to the world. Caleb says when he finishes at Chattahoochee Technical College, he hopes to attend Georgia Tech or the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Reporting in Atlanta, Ashley Williams for Atlanta Black Star.